cool. That, that sounds good. Yeah, third's good. Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video where you join me today with an Audi S1, a car which I have always loved and to be honest, was quite close to buying back in the day. Long-term viewers will know that I used to have a 2014 Audi A1 and this of course is the natural progression from that car. I love the platform, I have some really fond memories in my A1. This is no standard car though, fairly obviously with these kind of videos. It's a stage three car, uh, not forged at the moment, but it's had a lot of work done to it, uh, running some good power as well. Of course, we are joined today with Luca, the owner of the cars. We'll get him on camera, introduce him very shortly. Uh, we'll get him to walk around basically what he's done to it and then go out for a spin in this stage three S1. And to be honest, it's probably gonna make me want one even more than I already do. Okay, so we're joined now with Luca, the owner. Thank you so much for bringing this little beast down today. It's a lovely car, really, really nice car. Sepang Blue certainly pops in the sunlight. Um, but yeah, stage three. Yeah, yep. stage three. Thanks for having me, Luke. No, uh, mate, it's thank a pleasure you. to be on your channel. Mm. Um, yeah, I've had this car for three years now um, mm -hmm. and didn't really push it too much in until uh, recently. Um, yeah. yeah, so it's running a hybrid turbo from Blitco. We've got AirTech Stage 2 intercooler, uh, Ram Air um, intake. We've got a BarTech PCV delete and uh, catch can. Short shifter from 4H Tech. We've got a Litco uh, tune on it at the moment, so mm -hmm. it's probably uh, pushing high figures yeah. Um, yeah, on yeah. a good day. Well, I've, I've been in a couple of stage three ones of these and they're like little go-karts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they absolutely fly. Yeah, um, love it. Clutch-wise, I presume that's upgraded? Yeah, we're running the organic clutch so yep. um, from Sash, so we're on the low end of the upgraded clutches, but mm -hmm. we'll, we'll see how we get on for a while. Yeah, um, yeah. I daily this car, so okay. I didn't want anything um, too difficult to drive with. Yeah, of course. Uh, what kind of Litco is it? Uh, the... uh, so we've got the L430 okay. um, yeah, from oh, Litco. Yeah, I bought it secondhand. It was in yeah. another S1, so it's, okay. it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's a well, um, tested uh, yeah. hybrid turbo. And as I mentioned in the intro, it's not forged or anything just yet? No, not yep. forged yet, not forged. Um, possibly in future. Yeah. Uh, depends how we go, um, <laughs> you know, yeah. how it is with these things. That's um, it, yeah. Money pit, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, we're all guilty of it, we're all guilty of it. But yeah, these things are, well, when you stick some nice power into it, they absolutely fly because all-wheel drive, yeah. manual, recipe for a lot of fun, that's for sure. Yeah, exactly. Um, no meth or anything on the car? No, no mm. meth yet. Um, nothing fueling wise, uh, yeah. just V power. Uh, yeah. That's all we yeah, ran. Yeah. Like, was it completely stock before this, or was, did you go stage one or stage two? Before? Um, so I just ran a tuning box for okay. a bit, um, yeah. and that was okay. I dynoed it. It got 260 at the wheels, so it's okay. not too bad. Yeah. Um, and then after a while, just you know, parts come up secondhand, and I yeah. just thought, why not? <laughs> why not? <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. it. Exactly. Moving around though, some lovely silver wheels. Really, really nice to see. Yeah. The silver against the blue. What is it that we're running? So these there? are from Romac, um, they're their radium line, uh, 8J, 18 inch, upgrade the tyres to the PS4s, definitely complements the suspension and it yeah. gives for a comfy ride. Brakes wise as well, they're pretty pretty hefty. Yeah, so brakes wise we've got some KN um, six pots, okay. um, HP 2000 Brembo pads in there as well yeah. um, to complement the Brembo calipers and um, some MTEC 334mm uh, discs mm -hmm. on the front. Yeah. Awesome stuff. Rears, are they still stock or? Um, so rear stock caliper, yeah. um, yellow stuff pads, uh, and we've got RTS performance oh, okay. um, discs, uh, nice. stock size. Fair play. Exhaust wise as well, one last oh, yeah. thing. Exhaust, we've got, we got Miltec, and Sports Cat, and uh, Catback, so full Miltec system. But yeah, man, no, it looks looks really, really cool. Really clean spec, and um, well, as you said, you daily it as well, so yeah, it gets used as it should do as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think if that's pretty much everything, we'll hop in and uh, go for a spin. Good stuff. Oh, that, that sounds good. Yeah, I love oh. that turbo flutter. Yeah. 
I'm not sure if it's a dump valve or the turbo. I haven't quite worked it out yet, but... A bit of both, I reckon, weird. yeah. What I love about these things, they're just so point and shoot. Yeah. Like, there's just no hesitation. It's like a laser, I think. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Yeah, there's just no spin at all. <laughs> but it's just such a small little nimble package with a manual box. It just yeah, it's brilliant. Just works. Every corner is so involved. I love it. Yeah, loving that steering wheel though. Yeah, that guitar LED wheel. Yeah, you can switch through all the settings yeah. as well. Yeah, well, you've got temps and everything on there. Yeah, basically. temp, turbo boost. Yeah, you've got a little lap timer. Oh, nice. You've got kilometers in there. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds really good. Yeah, it's like, just really um, good. it's got the Miltec system too, and it? it's nothing crazy. Mm. No decat. Not yeah. Nothing crazy. Cause I live in London. Yeah. Lovely sound. <laughs> Get that. Oh, the turbo. It's really strong. So usually you get the turbo come in around three, I think. Commute in, I just drive right in fourth as well, and. Yeah. You know, I get like 30 mpg at plus 32 yeah. uh, around town, and yeah. then you know, put your foot down in 18 maybe mm. on, a, on a bad day. So mm. it's, it's still like it's still it's, quite efficient, yeah. I'd say for the amount of power uh, that we're yeah. uh, getting out of it. Absolutely, yeah. It's third gear. Yeah, third's good. <laughs> it is fairly understated with how it sounds as well. Like on boost, it yeah. sounds good, but you know, there's no crackles, there's no. no pops. No, no, I haven't got any pops or bangs or any of that mm. sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, I like to keep it stealth a bit. Yeah, like I didn't, I didn't get the AirTech logo on the front on the, in the intercooler. Yeah. yeah, I just wanted to keep it a bit sleeper, kind of. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it surprised a lot of people, especially like RS7 owners and yeah. you know all the. Uh, Merc boys and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, um, yeah. we just keep up with them easily. Yeah, a little wolf in sheep's clothing. Yeah. <laughs> it's no slouch. Yeah. Obviously, we don't know exactly what it's running. Not yet. We've got a Not brief yet. idea, but... Yeah, it's, it's, yeah this sort of um, formula has been done before, but... Yeah, so we, we've probably got an idea around yeah. the 400, maybe at the crank. But yeah, we'll, we'll get it dynoed soon and we'll see what it's pushing. The manual gearbox makes it. Yeah. I like how there was no option for a DSG on Not the S1. All. Second gear is actually brutal. <laughs> because it's so torquey as well, when you're shifting, it, it throws you. Literally, yeah. like, oh, it's crazy. Oh, I love it. Like, I want to keep it forever, sort of thing. That's it. That, um, was, that was what I was going to ask. Like, yeah. Is it? Is it a keeper? Sounds like it is. Yeah, I, I think it's a keeper. Honestly, yeah. um, like, and maybe one day I'll get like, you know, a bigger family car. But mm. you know, th this this is uh, going to be a garage cream one day for me. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Well, once all the paint's perfect, you know. Yeah. Um, it'll be coming out for shows, this sort of thing, and then it, yeah, it'll become a kind of weekend car for me. <laughs> it's definitely no slouch. <laughs> I do love them. Maybe one day, I, well, I, I'd love to do a build on one because it's, Yeah. I, I always thought when I had my A1, like, I'd love to progress to an S1 and, you know, do a build on that. And it's the car which I never, never did. I kind of went straight to a Golf R, which, yeah, was a big part of my channel. But I'd love to go back and and really build one of these one day because they're just so much fun. Yeah, that would be good to see, Luke. I can imagine the sort of builds you do, it, it would be pretty raw. <laughs> <laughs> a bit more, uh, a bit more spice than this. Yeah, maybe this something car. which no one's done before. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah, yeah no. I'm I'd... sure you've got some good ideas. <laughs> <as well. laughs> Believe me. <laughs> but yeah, man, no, thanks so much for, for bringing it down yeah, awesome. and, um, and taking it out. It's always a pleasure to, to go out one of these. Um, but yeah, if you want to learn more about the build, and of course, I will leave Luca's Instagram linked yeah. down below as uh, so you guys can go check out. I'm sure, well, there's plenty more stuff going on with yeah, the car. Yeah, I'm posting all the time. Um, I'm going to like shows and events with um, the S1 club as well. Yeah. Um, also, shout out to Dean's Machines who built my car. I mean, he's been working on like 
cars for my family for years and I think he definitely aced it with this one as well. Fair Follow me, make sure you like the video. <laughs> You're um, doing the outro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, mate, thank you so much. And um, yeah, that's it for me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please make sure you have a like and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures still to come.